Hi guys, Adam Panisi here. I'm on stage two of a 42 lot land subdivision that I'm currently doing. This one is under construction at the moment, only a few months away from completion. It does look like a little bit of a mess at the moment, but it doesn't take long for projects like this to start to take shape. And I'm just doing a tour of the site. It's on a Sunday afternoon, there's nobody here which is great because I don't need to worry about walking around, talking on the phone and getting run over by machines. Uh, but I also wanted to come to have a look when the contractor wasn't here. Some sites and this one in particular, I don't like to be on site that often, especially not with the contractor. I can have an oversight remotely and I have consultants and other people working on the ground for me and doing the day-to-day -day technical stuff. I'm running multiple projects um, at various different stages and obviously I've only got so much time in a day. The one thing and one great thing about property development, and you may know some property developers, you can do a couple of projects, or even if you wanna just do one project and start, you can do that on the side while you're still working full time. It doesn't take a huge time commitment. And the reason is, is that you can leverage from the consultants that you've got you can even leverage enough to engage a project manager who will manage literally every single stage of it. The only hesitation I have with that is you still need to know everything about property development. You need to know the seven stages before you start engaging people to carry out a small part of those seven stages. Each consultant is um, an expert in, at a particular niche they don't know the seven stages, so they don't know all of them. If they did, they'd be a property developer and they wouldn't be able to be employed by you as a developer or me. They'd be out there doing property development themselves. So stage two, uh, it's an 18 lot land subdivision. Well, this part is 18 lots, the whole thing's 42. Sold most of the blocks off the plan already. There's still a few more to go. It did involve this really annoying creek crossing behind me. It's a nine barrel, so nine uh, culvert stormwater pipes running under the road. It crosses an existing creek. It's most of the expense for building stage two. So the road construction isn't very long at all. In this one, I think it's only about 400 meters. Uh, the culvert crossing is most of the cost uh, for this or a significant portion of it. But it was worth doing to unlock 18 blocks. It was only access into the property and as part of a two-stage subdivision uh, bounded by, you can see behind me, trees, natural waterway, really nice atmosphere from here, as in the blocks of land, the end buyers uh, have like a picturesque outlook onto all the trees. They're large 3,000 square meter lots. And I actually really love the stage two that it's quite secluded. So although the creek crossing cost a bit more money, the amount more we got for the blocks or the premium that the buyers placed on them was far worth developing into this area. Uh, this one has got another few more months left to construction. The whole deal, the whole 42 lots from go to woe will be around the two year mark, maybe two years and a few months. There's been a little bit of wet weather the last few months, or well, especially in 2021, but the last few months as well and the completion of this will all get wrapped up in early 2022. Title, settlements, all of that stuff. We've been able to ride some of the market, sold most of them unfortunately through, uh, well, off the plan. So unfortunately locked in some lower sales. The prices have gone up quite substantially, but we locked in sales to get the deal done and we can jump on with the next deal that's already in play or actually the next land subdivision subdivision deal in the area that I'm talking about. But in general, I've got seven projects at play at the moment, a couple of hundred million dollars of end value. I'm selling a couple of blocks a little bit cheaper, helps out the landowners, help me out with sales, um, and just meant that we could have a financial close on the property. One thing about doing property development and then selling the end product, um, it's not always about getting the maximum value or maximum uh, amount for the block, uh, it is at my level about turnover of stock as well. And getting the turnover, being able to pay back the bank, pay back investors, and then moving on to the next deal and doing it all over again. Uh, hope you've learned a bit from that. If you love the videos, or if you wanna get more free training videos, would love to hear from you. 
what you want to know, please let me know, send me an email or reply in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and see you on the Facebook group. All the training is completely free. We'll see you there. Catch you later.